conflict with another underworld figure, Baltimore's number czar, Willie Adams. The pistol went off purely by accident. I meant no disrespect to him. What fool would allow a 45 to go off in a phone booth that nearly blowed his groin out? But this man received it personal, as I understood years later, that a weapon shouldn't go off in his building, and it did. And a personal friend of mine by the name of Charles Dixon told me the day after my weapon went off in his building that he wanted me to never enter his building again. I honored that. But at the time that these stick-up men were moving about the city, it was said that he was going to be kidnapped as well. No stick-up man is going to come and take two and three hundred thousand from you and let you live. No stick-up man that I could invent you. You were dealing with a life struggle if some of those guys came and got your drop on you. But know this about those stick-up men. They found every one of them dead. Those that came from different parts of New Jersey, those that came from different parts of New Mexico, those that came from Kentucky, they found all of them in all different parts of the city with gun shots in the neck, in the ear, and in the back of the head, and some straggled across each other. It was a time that being a stick-up man wasn't a smart thing to be. On two consecutive Tuesdays, Melvin will hit the number. Back to back. And hit it on a hundred dollar bet. So this would have been fifty, sixty thousand dollars a bet. But he would win more than money. He would strike the mother.